The headline on CAR's affordability index report says strong seasonal home prices weakening housing affordability in second quarter. Bad news, good news. All right, so let's break it down in our area. In Sacramento County, the percentage of home buyers who could afford to purchase a median priced existing single family residence in the second quarter of 2016 fell to 45% from 48% recorded in the first quarter and was down from 47% last year. Now, what does that really mean? Well, locally it means that home buyers need to earn a minimum annual income of about $63,471 to qualify for the purchase of a median priced home of say at $323,710, not to be precise. In Placer County, that number is about 46% that can afford to buy with a median priced home of about $434,000 and a minimum annual income of about $86,000. The Placer second quarter figures were down from 48% in the first quarter, but up from this time last year at 44%. So that's great news. This really feels like it's pretty flat to me with record low interest rates. Most first time home buyers are jumping into the world of home ownerships and the number is are showing it. Locally, we still see signs of home prices rising. Inventory has been flat between about 2.4 months and 2.6 months and a pretty healthy affordability index. With money so cheap to borrow and rents continuing to rise, it doesn't really make sense for those that can qualify for a mortgage to continue to rent as rents continue to go up. And if you're wondering if the Sacramento County makes sense, right now San Francisco's at about 9% to 11% affordability. So we're really in a great place because 46 out of 100 people can buy. So all this is great for the market and it's great evidence that the market should stay strong for a good amount of 2016 and next year. Now for minding your own business. So one of the basic marketing strategies is to build a referral network. Real estate agents rely heavily on the referrals from their past clients, and so do mortgage people, but you can go one step further and actually build a referral network. People who care about you. You have your favorite cafes, restaurants, or local shops, so build relationships with the owners and employees. They're gonna buy a house. So what about your dentist, hairstylist, or employees at your gym? Don't forget about those you know at church or chamber of commerce or soccer on the sidelines as you're at a game. Offer them a reason to refer you by making your knowledge known. By engaging and be prepared to reward them for their referral and just say thank you with something good. Handwritten thank you notes are always great. Accordingly, get together at a pub or wine joint that you host just for your network. Keeps them engaged and network with you feeling appreciated and looking forward to another fun event that you hold and not wanting to miss it because they tell their friends. Referrals and word of mouth are the most powerful advertising, so reciprocate. Make people feel great. It's a show. Have fun with it. Be sure to refer your clients to your network as well. Well, that's it for another edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thanks for being here. If you've got any clients we can help you with, give a holler. We'd love to help. Have a great week.